Hello and welcome to another Quattro Tech Cars video. Today we have this 16 plate Audi A4 Avant in monsoon grey. It's in the sport specification and is powered by the 150 PS 2 litre TDI diesel engine and driven by a six speed manual gearbox. This is one of the first of the um, upgraded and facelifted or completely new model actually a4 Avance, and it's specced very similarly to what an s line might be so it's got some really interesting factory extras on it more of which we'll dive into now okay so here we are around at the boot of the a4 as you can see we've got a really nice sized luggage area kept in very good condition as well we've got two ice fix anchoring points for kid seats uh, on the rear seats We've got that ambient lighting in the back. This car does actually have the extended LED ambient lighting pack. So you get to choose the color of a number of different um, LED um, inlays and light strips uh, in the front of the car. We've also got manual seat levers. There's a 12 volt power socket just down there. And underneath the boot floor, we've got a space saver spare wheel. You also get the electric tailgate on the Sports, which is a nice addition. And something that you can see on this A4 is that we have Audi's Parking System Plus, so the front and rear parking sensors, uh, which is owned above the standard. You normally get rear. Um, this one has the front and you get that visually displayed on the screen as well. We can also see that this A4 has privacy glass on the back, which is a uh, factory option. So it just makes it look a bit more sleek. And then if we open the fuel cap here, you can see uh, that this car has AdBlue, very common for diesel vehicles these days. Um, and this particular A4 has the upgraded um, tank for that. So instead of 12 litres, it's got a 24 litre AdBlue tank, which basically just, well, doubles the, uh, the range on the AdBlue. Um, that would mean that you don't have to fill it up nearly as often. Okay, so if we head into the rear of the car now, we get the first glimpse of the extended LED interior light pack. It's in that nice deep blue at the moment, but there are a number of different colors that you can choose from. This A4 has the Alcantara interior, so you've got the door cards there in Alcantara, and then the half leather, half Alcantara seats as well, um, which is a really nice option to have. Normally, they are fully cloth in the Sport. We've also got three zone climate control and a 12 volt power socket to charge any ancillaries as well. Heading round to the front, again, we've got the Alcantara door cards. We've got electrically heated and adjustable door mirrors, a rear tailgate latch just there. Again, more of the LED interior light pack. When that's all turned on, you can um, customise it so that will go down to the footwells um, as well. Looking at the front seats in really nice condition. Again, half Alcantara, half leather. So they wear really nicely, um, but are also very supple as well. So they're very comfortable. If we head into the driver's seat, we've got Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights with um, fog lights as well. We've also got automatic lights and wipers as well. So rain sensors just on there, and that's the adjustability for the wiper sensitivity also. Along with that and the new A4 design, you get this really nice uh, flush and rimless rear view mirror, which is also auto dimming. Now, if we look at the two screens, so first of all, we've got the larger eight inch uh, display, I believe it is, uh, which represents that we've got a technology pack. So you get the larger display with a higher resolution and better color. But we also have the virtual cockpit, um, which wasn't standard um, on any of the models. Um, having this on the car really changes the game and it looks stunning so you can have the navigation on here we can change the view and the size of the speedos we've got a number of different bits of information that you can go through and control a huge amount on the car that's all done through the multifunctional steering wheel with the controls just there we also have cruise control and along with the technology pack um, you also got the uh, Audi's um, media interface. We've got the um, wireless charging just down there. And then you've also got the USB and the AUX slots in there as well. Uh, this is a touchpad. So you can use that to denote, uh, say like a postcode where you can literally write the letter into navigation. Uh, in fact, we can show you very quickly. If we go into nav, go into destination entry. So I can literally 
start writing D. the postcode, D. which works really, Delete. really well. Delete. So very good for on the go as well. So we've got the normal navigation in the car, which again, really clear, looks really good. You can connect your phone wirelessly uh, via Bluetooth to make and receive calls. The same with the media, and there's a number of different sources, including the CD, SD, USB, and the AUX. And we've also got right DAB, here. FM, and AM radio as well. Now, not only can you uh, connect your phone wirelessly via Bluetooth, but you can plug it in via USB and take advantage of Audi's smartphone interface. So if you have an Android phone or an uh, Apple smartphone, um, then most of those will plug in and actually mirror your phone's iOS up on the screen here. So you can take advantage of things like Siri, Hey Google, Apple Maps, Google Maps, a number of other verified um, apps working with the system as well, like Spotify uh, or something like that. So it makes the system so intuitive and easy to use, um, but just so versatile as well. If we go back into menu, you can see this is a completely new uh, system for the newer generation of cars. Really, really easy to navigate indeed. If we actually just press the parking sensor button down there, you can see the front and rear sensors coming up on display there. That'll also come up if you go into reverse automatically as well. We have also got Audi's Drive Select. So we've got efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic and individual. These will change a host of elements in the car, including the weight and feel of the steering and the throttle response as well. Moving further down, we've got the dual zone climate control in the front. Uh, again, from the factory, a nice option is the heated front seats, which definitely don't go miss. They've got three levels of heating just there. Uh, so really nice for the colder month. They work really well with the Alcantara seats as well. Um, the advantage being that they don't really get too hot in the summer, the Alcantara, uh, as much as you'd get with a full leather interior. And they don't quite get as cold in the winter, but you've got those heated seats as well, um, just in case it is cooler. <coughs> Down here, you can turn the screen off. It is fixed, it doesn't fold away anywhere. Uh, very similar on a lot of modern cars these days. We've got a 12 volt power socket just down there. Uh, it's all keyless on the new A4s. So you can just have the key on your body. We've got more extended LED interior light pack uh, strips just here. <coughs> so there's a, a huge host of things. We've got the six speed manual gearbox, electromechanical parking brake, the hill hold assist um, is an optional extra as well, which works really, really well. Um, say if you're on uh, a junction on a hill or something like that, it'll actually put the handbrake on for you. Um, and then when you take your foot off the clutch, when you're in first and start accelerating away, it'll automatically disengage it. It feels a bit strange to start with, um, but you soon start trusting the system and it works really well. Yeah, we've got the MMI just down here with the touchpad that we explained earlier, track selector and volume also. So as you can see, this A4 is in really nice condition. It's been very well looked after and has a really interesting factory specification from new as well. Perfect for someone wanting a lot of the technology in the S-Line and more, if I'm honest, um, but wanting a bit more of the comfort that the sport suspension and the slightly smaller diameter um, rims, but larger sidewall tyres that that gives you. Overall, a really versatile car. All Quattro Tech cars come with six month warranty, including six months roadside assistance, an MOT upon arrival, and a comprehensive mechanical check. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us so we can explain how we're currently facilitating safe, socially distanced, and contactless clicking-linked appointments. Thank you very much.